Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You're watching Bill Barwan Tutorials. So today's topic is about uh, uh, that is an important topic that is about subroutine procedures. So so far you have been seeing uh, different topics starting from a variable, de a variable declaration to uh, printing the output and uh, accepting the data from the console and uh, uh, arrays concepts and many other things okay uh, so and we have seen a couple of uh, uh, basic programs on PL bar 1 programming so I hope you got a basic reference uh, basic understanding about the PL bar 1 programming as of now so we will be do we, we will from today onwards you would be moving to some advanced topics in PL bar 1 programming so let's start with the subprotein procedures so what is a subprotein procedure it's a uh, same like a sub program in any other programming language like C, C++, Java or anything okay so subroutine procedures also known as a sub program invoked by a call statement this is invoked by a call statement okay same like a COBOL programming language so it's it, it invokes us it invokes the sub program here okay it is also known as a sub program invoked by a call statement arguments are passed by means of arguments list Anyhow, while calling a sub program, we can process an argument slice. So, length of a procedure is limited to 8 characters. So, whenever you write a subroutine procedure, make sure that you limit it to 8 characters. So, what are arguments and parameters? Argument passed to a called procedure must be accepted by the procedure. That is, uh, whenever you pass an parameter while calling an, uh, a sub program, that should accept the parameters that are passed in the calling procedure okay this is done by explicit declaration of one or more parameters in parenthesized list in the procedure statement of the invoker procedure right so the attributes of parameters and its corresponding arguments must be the same so whatever you pass if you are passing two parameters in the calling procedure either should be same in the called procedure Okay, that is the main program and sub program. What the parameters you are passing is uh, the two parameters in the main program, so the same should be in the receiving uh, that is a sub program. The attribute parameters or uh, and its corresponding argument must be same. So let's see some example so that you will get a clear picture of what is a main and what is a sub program or a stored procedure subroutine. Okay, so this is your main program. You are giving your main program in as PROG and procedure option main okay and from here you are calling your subroutine program that is a subroutine a comma b comma c so make sure that you you have here you, here you are seeing like you have three arguments that are passing to your subroutine program okay now you can see like a subroutine program is being called here with procedure and you can see a three arguments so these are the three arguments that are passed to here and it will accept it by a subroutine here the thing is the variable names need not be same you can give any other variables names so here you are seeing a x b y c z you can also give a b c that that is not at all a problem so that's the reason we say it need not be same so but the data type should match okay so you might have declared some declare a small point and so car or anything so the, the same data type should be here okay so this is how a subroutine procedure will have work so just to recap again so program procedure option main and you are calling a subroutine you are ending your main program and once once this statement is seen here it will jump to the subroutine and it will it will execute what are the statements it has it has here and it will end the subroutine and the control come back to these and whatever the statements we have in this uh, line so it will execute those uh, sort of statements and it will finally it will end the program so you can call multiple sub programs in a main procedure so here just i'm calling a single procedure you if you have multiple sub program that need to be called you can call it okay so that's how an uh, important topic of a sub procedure will work and uh, with this i'm going to end this video on uh, our topic so i would be coming up with more and more videos on uh, this pl bar one programming not only this pl bar one programming so a, a couple of uh, videos on different mainframe modules okay so if you like this video kindly please 
share with your friends or anyone or like or comment on my youtube channel so stay tuned to youtube channel thank you so much have a great and pleasurable day or an evening